Good morning and welcome to Community Conversations. I am Queen Miss Ebony J. You're listening and watching 1230 The Buzz, your talk station, 101.1 The Wiz and 100.3 Cincy's R&B station. I'm so glad to be here. If you've never listened to Community Conversations before, this is where we come to talk about things happening in our community. And we don't just come on here and talk, okay? We bring solutions. And I'm excited today in the studio with me, I am talking with Miss Lisa, who is here representing Village Empowerment. How are you doing, beautiful? I am doing fine, gorgeous. It is definitely a pleasure to be here with you today. Tell us, in case people have never heard about Village Empowerment, what it is that you all do. So Village Empowerment Collaborative Services is a social service nonprofit agency where we collaborate with other partners, whether they're nonprofit, state, local agencies, or schools, to provide services to our parents, our um youth and anybody that's considered to be a part of our community and our community is all of Cincinnati, Ohio. So we look at providing psychoeducational groups that can help with anger management, that can help with decision making. We provide parent educational groups which can give parents new techniques to help them assist with strong-willed children, to help them better understand and navigate their systems to be able to assist, advocate, and empower their family and their, and their counterparts in their neighborhood. This so is so we also, amazing. Sorry. No, I'm saying this is amazing. You're basically providing support for people whose children or family members may suffer for some kind of mental illness. Yes, ma'am. Whether they um, suffer from mental illness or they suffer from behavioral health issues and struggles. So that's what we're here for. We also are affiliates with NAMI Ohio, which provides parent advocacy connection. So they have um, blessed us with the ability to have two parent advocates that work with Hamilton County, Butler County, Claremont County, um, as well as Warren County. And they're able to go out and help parents understand systems, navigate through the challenges of being a parent, learn how to do self-care, just being able to be an advocate and a cheerleader for our parents. Because so often in these counties, we have different systems and supports for the children, which we definitely need. But sometimes the parents get lost in the struggle. You're right. And it's always good to know that there are other people that are, are like you that's dealing with the same thing. You all are not just offering um, support, but you're sharing resources too, right? Yes, ma'am. We share resources. We find resources. Um, we develop support groups with parents because right now we're partnering in a collaborative effort with Northwest Local School District where we're providing parent education and support. And they come together weekly, they learn, they practice, they come back. They sit at the table with parents just like them that's struggling. They know that they're not alone, they have the support. And then after they get finished with the class, they graduate, we give them a graduation ceremony. We celebrate them, all of their successes, all of their tears, their challenges, struggles. And then instead of just sending them back out, without anything, they've created natural support and we help them build a village, which of course we all know it takes a village for everything, not just to raise a child, but it takes a village for survival in today's age. Yes, it does. And so we got the individual and group mentorship that someone can get. But um, what I'm learning is that from what you're saying, there's the social and the psychological education that you get that support happens inside of the groups. Yes, ma'am. It truly does. Now talk about the curriculum. Okay, so the curriculum we use is it's parent project curriculum. It is um, a curriculum that was built and developed over oh, like 35 years ago. Um, and it was developed with parents, like they actually went and interviewed parents and parents sat down and said, hey, this is what I'm struggling with. Hey, this is what I need. Hey, this is what I know would help 
me and my family. And the curriculum is centered around empowering parents as well as teaching parents how they can parent differently for that strong-willed child to understand that, you know, they didn't do anything. They just had sex and had a kid. Um, you didn't do anything that just said, hey, I'm going to have this strong-willed child. But we have to learn that we have to parent differently because that strong-willed child has different challenges, different struggles, and different situations that they deal with daily than what a compliant child would have. So yeah. um, we embrace the parent project curriculum. We also go a step further and provide um, parent coaching and support during the weeks. So they get individual phone calls. They can reach out themselves. Um, they just get a better, a better continuum of support, a wrapping round of comfort and, and grace as well. We like to encourage them and show them how they should give themselves grace. Um, and be proud that they did the first step, which was come to the class. Yes, yes. So there are adult services and then there are youth and parent services. If you're just tuned in, I am Queen Miss Ebony J here talking with Miss Liz Murray, who is representing the um, Empowerment Village. Oh, did I say that right? I'm sorry, my notes moved. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Yes, ma'am. Lisa Murray from Village Empowerment Collaborative Services. Said it all the way backwards. Village Empowerment. There we go. And what we love and why we brought them on is because so many different people deal with so many things, right? You never know what battles people are facing. But we have Village Empowerment because they are there to support you. They believe it takes a village and they want to make sure that they connect you to the right um, places and resources in the community where you can be a better you. I wanted to, we've talked about the youth and parent support, but let's get into the adult services because um, we realize as adults, some of us deal with anger management, we deal with uh, mental illnesses, maybe accountability is hard for us, or time management is something that we struggle with. Talk about some of the resources that adults can get who want to be better and who need assistance. Yes, ma'am. So the adults can get um, a life coaching support, which is individual. We haven't started our groups as of yet, but we are able to, and we are definitely certified to be able to do the groups for the adults. It's just not something that we have started because unfortunately with COVID and everything happening, we have less of an interest um, with doing groups. Um, sometimes um, adults just don't want to come out or they're used to being in right now. Yeah. So we're doing the individualized life coaching where we're working with adults about setting those personal goals um, about, you know, what are some of your challenges and struggles and how can we help you? So we do use the basis of aggression replacement training, which is helping with anger management. We look at for those adults that might be dealing with any type of addiction or anything like that, we can bring for thinking for a change, showing them different ways to look at situations um, and different ways to identify they, their own thought distortions. So right now, everything is done on a life coaching um, level where they get that personalized assistance. Well, that's actually better because you get that one-on-one, -on -one. you get to tell them, hey, my goal is to do this and I've been struggling with this. Um, so it's not therapy. It is just you having uh, someone coach you and guide you on your vision and your plan. We all need mentors, right? <laughs> uh, yes, ma'am. I love it. Village Empowerment is here to make sure that you are a better you. Um, and then I know um, I saw on the website that you have the Young Adult Independent Living Skill Building Services. Is that still going on? So um, that is something that we're working on. I'm glad you brought that up. That is our 2024. Okay, wait a minute. I'm in 2022. Let me stop skipping years. That is our 2023 goal is to not only provide um, mentoring to a young adult from ages 18 
to 19, but to also provide um, like a center and a center is called Village Hope Center. So, you know, we're speaking that into existence for the next coming year where, you know, it's about hope, help others to per persevere and to elevate. Yeah. So we're um, working on developing that curriculum so that they can come in and they can actually have a place where they reside um, for about a year until they're able to be able to move out and do things on their own. Because for a long time, we've been looking at them when they turn 18 as if they're grown and they're not, you know, they're still in the process of building, they're still in the process of learning. Um, and some of them did not get the skills and they're ill-equipped to do so. So right. that is something that we are working on that we are believing in to come about in 2023. Yes, we're going to speak that into existence. How can we be a you know, a part, how can we support? I know you have some events coming up. Yes, yes. Thank you, Miss Ebony, for bringing it up. Right now, um, our next event that we have coming up is a brunch and bubbly. Ooh. So our brunch and bubbly event in a, is, of course, a Saturday brunch event um, where we're going to bring people together and we're just going to sit down. We're going to break bread together. We're going you know, to fellowship and talk. And we'll have a couple of things that we'll be um, doing a silent auction off of. Um, we have a couple of um, black owned business owners that have graciously, graciously donated um, some of the tools of their trade in order to do a photo shoot um, and some shopping. So of course, once you do a photo shoot, you do have to have a place to shop. <laughs> so um, so we have that coming up on November the 19th, and that is at 11 a.m. And I apologize, my phone went out, so I'm trying to bring up the address for you. So again, it's November the 19th, and it's going to be at 11 a.m. And the location... Uh, I just really don't like technology when I really truly need it. And it's not cooperating with me. Okay, here it is. We do have an Eventbrite. So yep. you can go through Eventbrite and actually um, pay for your ticket. Um, and of course, it's by Village Empowerment Collaborative Services. The tickets are $60. And so it is on November the 19th, Saturday from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m., it's at the Gumbo Parlor. I don't know if anybody remembers Mardi Gras on Main, um, but um, they've moved and they've revamped and rebranded and it's now the Gumbo Parlor. And it's on 6425 Hamilton Avenue. That's Cincinnati, Ohio, 45224. All proceeds from this event goes towards our blessed giving celebration. We were blessed last year. We started blessed giving celebration during COVID, which was, you know, probably crazy on our behalf, but we did it anyway. And we started out with two families. We were able to bless them, get them adopted, bring them in, have a little bit of snacks with them. Aww. And what we decided in 2020 that, oh man, we want to expand it a little bit, you know, because people are dealing with COVID and COVID brought so much into lives as far as trauma and despair and depression. And, you know, it impacted people economically where they couldn't do things. So in 2021, we decided we just want to do a little bit more. But I tell you, Miss Ebony, because I am crazy and I have this crazier faith, <laughs> we decided that we were going to do at least 20 kids. And so all of our kids don't have families. Um, some of them are in the custody of JFS. So we wanted to do 20 total kids and we wanted to do a mixture of some that had family and others that we were their family. Yes. So we were blessed and we served 45. So we went from two to 45. And this time we didn't do snacks. We did a full course Christmas meal with dressing and all of the trimmings. And we were blessed enough to be able to give everybody a gift. 
So all the adults, they left with a gift and the children left with at least two gifts. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so we need your help this year so her so her goals can come true we need to bless 20 families and the goal is to come and sip on november the 19th right yes ma'am this event is how much the event is 60 dollars, and of course since we're doing it on event bright they do have a booking fee so it ends up being 65.85 so go on. And again, remember, this is for a good cause. This is the fundraiser to be able to support again our babies during the holiday times. This is like the hardest time for people who struggle with mental illnesses, who struggle with their angers. Like this is just the hard time for people. So we want to make sure that we do our best to be able to support and that we're we're doing our part, right? So please help Miss Lisa, okay? If you need more details or want to learn more about this organization, tell us how we can do it. We'll yes, going. you can go to www.v as in Victor, e as in Edward, c as in Charlie, s as in Sam, dot us. Um, that is our website. We are taking donations because of course this is only one event and whatever we raise at this event will not cover the complete blessed giving event. So we do take donations throughout the year. You can donate on the website. Um, also, if you have questions and you want to personally speak with me, you can contact me at 513-549-0417. Again, it's 513-549-0417 and it's Lisa Murray. Ms. Lisa, do you all um, need volunteers or partners or anything like that? Yes, ma'am. We are looking to get some partners this year because, as I said before, we went from two to 45. Um, um, you know, we went from two individual families that were probably about six people all together to 45 people. Um, last year and our goal this year is to serve at least 65 people, which means we want to serve at least 20 complete families and then um, a couple of our youth that don't have families. So we are looking for volunteers for our December 17th event, which is the Blessed Giving Celebration itself. We're looking for sponsors and partners so that we can make everything come together as well as the fact that I'm pretty sure my family and friends would appreciate it if I got some. Because <laughs> they have been, you know, and I thank God for them because they have truly, truly been my village and they have allowed me to make them everybody else's village as well. We all need a village, Lord. Shout out to the villages. If you need a village and you need support, understand village empowerment is here for you. Um, she has a village. I have a village. If you need a village, we are here to support you. Make sure you log on to the website, follow them on Facebook, get connected so you can stay, you know, in the know about how you can be supported, especially during the holiday season. Thank you so much, Ms. Lisa, for coming to talk with me. I appreciate you so much. No problem. Anytime. Thank you so very much for having us. We and appreciate the ability and the outlet to come and be able to speak on your platform. Oh, yes. No problem. Now, if you need me, you need anything, just let me know. Okay. We will. I would love to come over and help maybe even speak, um, share my testimony, have whatever you need. Just give me a call. Okay. Yes, ma'am. You know, we would appreciate and love to see you on November the 19th to come out and fellowship with us and be a part of our brunch and bubbly. I wish I could. I'm already like, I'm overbooked that day. I have four events on the 19th, so I cannot make it, but I, keep me in, informed about another one and I'll do my best. I definitely will. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, beautiful. This is Community Conversations on 1230 to Buzz Your Talk Station, 101.1 The Wiz and 100.3 Cincy's R&B Station. We want to make sure that you have the things you need to survive this holiday season. So stick around. I have another special guest for Community Conversations right here. It's 100.3.